Hi everyone, welcome to Culture of Pain. I'm Henry and joining me as usual are Matt, Andy and Rich. Hello chaps, how are we doing? Hello. You? We're good. Hello. So none of the let's paint, pain cultists, all that stuff. This is just going to be an episode where we have a little bit of a chat about our upcoming uh, miniatures painting contest slash meet slash extremely stressful weekend. Fun for um, you. Yeah, Not it's gonna be us. yeah, it's gonna be good. But we've had uh, we've had quite a few questions about it, and it's just over a month away. So we thought we would do a short episode, having a little chat uh, about some of those questions. And um, yeah, and if any of you are coming in the chat, which quite a few of you are, judging by the fuck, I need to paint stuff. Oh, sorry, we might swear, um, and we might talk about adult content. You have been warned, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it wouldn't be the same without the technical issues. We were just saying that, it's, say that. it's kind of a given, right? So. So, uh, you know, get your refunds uh, down the bottom uh, on the right. Tech is, you know, faffy. To figure out how you do that thing where people can can actually like chat and top chat and stuff. Anyway, yes, MPO, Bristol, Miniature Painting Open. So sold out very, very quickly, um, which is amazing. Uh, we really weren't sure what the support or the, the appetite for it would be like. We were confident you know in that we think it's a cool thing but we didn't really know until we went out there but as i say sold out in just over a day which is fabs and we're just about ready to sign for next year's venue which is going to be double the capacity um so hopefully uh, we'll be able to sort things out i'm still working my way through the waiting list getting a few returns uh, a week at the minute ticket wise uh, so i'm contacting all of you uh, that are on that waiting list if you've had a reply from me about yes i'll put you on the list then you're on it okay there's just quite a lot of people uh, on it um so the first thing i want to talk about quickly was um the tickets themselves and the entry so on the tickets we put something like competitor or something didn't we matt something like that wasn't it yeah um essentially to encourage people to bring minis like this is a you know with the with the restricted capacity uh, put on us by the venue um we we want as many people sort of bringing miniatures as we can but you don't have to enter any of the competitions if you just want to turn up and look at great stuff then then that's absolutely fine but you will need a ticket to get in the building anybody will we don't set the capacity we don't set the fire eggs or anything like that so if you're just thinking of rocking up and you've got your ticket and you think your partner can just pop in for a bit or think about coming down on the day just check out please don't you won't be allowed in um we, we are we have gone right up to capacity <laughs> so we uh yeah just wanted to uh, i'm and sam will not be re yeah, reiterate that one um, and it does it mind. counts for for children carers yeah literally everybody yeah human yeah, souls yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so uh yeah any issues with that just let me know um so yes i suppose that's frequently asked question number one uh, another one we've had we have introduced the beginner uh, standard or, or uh, judging level uh, for this competition. It's not something that we had on the online competition. We have not just master and standard, but we decided to add beginner into this. Um, Andy, why don't you take away exactly what's going to be the difference between standard and beginner? Why have we put beginner in there? So I guess, you know, you could call this a painting competition, and it is, but I'd like to think of it more as a meet. And that is our aim every year to make it a meet. And the idea is everyone brings their miniatures no matter what level you are. Uh, and I think that's the nice thing about the open style competition is that there are different levels. And even if you don't feel confident to do something like Golden Demon, where there's only three spots, it can be quite scary. Uh, at this, we're hoping there's a space for everyone. And that's why we have done the beginners category uh obviously the the higher the rankings you go from standard to master they are more prestigious the prizes get bigger but we do want people to feel comfortable bringing and sharing their miniatures and uh yeah i think beginner is just a really nice uh thing to have and maybe it's people's first ever competition which would be really really nice for our competition to be people's first so yeah absolutely uh, that's the main thing but sort of worth saying with that if it is your first comp you don't have to enter beginner you can enter whatever one <laughs> whatever one you want and i think we're we, we are not anticipating of the however many hundreds of people that are coming more than like a handful really of people entering beginner um but but as andy said it's there to if you're really not sure then then you can always pop it pop it in beginner also you, um, worth saying all this info is on the 
on the website anyway. Um, but it's worth saying as well for the beginner uh, stand, we won't be awarding anything more than commended uh, as a thing. There won't be actual medals for uh, beginner. That's just for standard and master. Um, do sorry, mate. To, um, do you want to talk about the levels now or later on in the? the um, judging I was bit? gonna. Yeah, I was gonna do it in the judging bit. Yeah. I think, mate, because it would just we'll just That's bang cool. these ones out. Um, I, I kind of just kind of crossover. What are you gonna say, Rich? Uh, we got a good question in the chat is will it always be in bristol or you will you rotate it around the country to try and make it easier for people to attend it's a great question more? it's a great question we so the easy to attend thing there's always going to be challenges for getting to paint competitions whether that is they're contained within a, a different event that you have to buy a bigger ticket for whatever things like uh, adepticon or um Essen or things like that, Spiel rather, um, or geographical location. So obviously, you know, if people in America flying to the UK for a competition isn't necessarily uh, going to be the easiest thing. But we have, I mean, I looked at 30, I think nearly, almost certainly more than 30, maybe nearly 50 venues to try and get the right place for this one. Um, and we feel that we have really, you know, it is... 20 meters from the train station in bristol um it is as easy as possible uh to get to we think uh which is why we've we've done it um so yeah that we can't really make it any easier you, we can't just sadly go to everybody's hometowns and just run a run a painting competition uh, the other reason is bristol is very local to two of us um so there's another reason we wanted to do it so that if with regards to preparation and whatnot it's going to be a little bit simpler and also we know the place so for a saturday evening for the social activities and whatnot you know we know the areas to sort of recommend and and go out and enjoy um as for doing it at other venues at other cities uh yes absolutely something we would love to do and endeavor to do in the future um whether that's the uk or whether that's uh in other countries that's all in the in the plans um but we are we're, we're taking this slow. <laughs> we we want the MPO to be here in five years, ten years, twenty years, or whatever. So we just want to get everything right at each step. Um, so we thought close to home, great venue, easy to get to. Concentrate on the competition and the hanging out, and that's our those are our, our goals for this first one. Um, so yeah, makes sense. We we've just on that as well. We're just a couple of questions about it whilst we're just. On doing the q a bit i guess uh will you need to attend both days to enter the competition from charlie yes uh well no not to enter it you enter it on uh saturday and we'll talk about timings shortly again all this info is on the on the website um the the window for entering is on saturday from uh, 11 till 2 is it matt 11 till 3 something like that oh is it We're just me out. who can't hear Matt? I can't, can't hear Andy myself either. And I can't hear Andy either. What's he doing? Oh, what's going on? Me, me and yourself, Matt. Was <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it 10 to 2? Hang on. My dog's whining at me to go out. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're top, top tier. <laughs> but yeah, um, entries 10 to 2. So it was open at any registration. Club. But the um, I guess the key is yes, you do have to do both days because ten. what? Ten? No, it's not. It's not ten, mate. It's not ten on the Saturday. The doors open at ten. Right. <laughs> um, That's right, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess so. I guess one keen bean can get their uh, can get their doors open. Um, what I was what I was saying was the entries have to go in Saturday. And that is so we get a long time to judge them and judge them well. And that will go into Saturday evening after the doors are closed. Uh, and then the awards will be Sunday. So it does mean you do have to attend Saturday and Sunday. Um, but uh, a lot of competitions, when they have results day, they have it at 4 or 5 p.m., which is very painful for the entrance. And we have thought about that. And so <laughs> even though it will be an overnight stay, we would like to do the... Um, announcement early in the day so there's yep. time to chat after and people don't have to rush off because it's always nice mm. to chat after mm. the results and just uh yeah that's that's something we're really happy to do because it is painful waiting for results sometimes yes yeah. um but again we'll talk about timings in a little 
in, in, a, in a little bit uh, on that. But yeah, you do need to be there, be there both days. Um, if for any reason you obviously can't be there on the Sunday um, and you've got a mate there or something who's going to pick your stuff up, just let us know. Um, that's not an issue. Um, so yeah, don't don't stress. And the same with any of this, you know, just if you've got problems, guys, just please just reach out to us and ask because, you know, it's only us. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll always answer it. Um, right, we've done levels. How many categories can I enter? Uh, all of them. There's only three. <laughs> um, you don't need a separate ticket, separate categories. Um, you can enter as many miniatures in each category as you want. Um, again, we've spoken about this, the sort of open style of competition. Um, but Andy, give me a, a sort of an example of a couple of typical uh, collections that people would would say enter. If you were going to this competition, what would you be thinking to enter? Yeah, I guess um, it's something I, I get asked a lot because some people will come in via Golden Demon, like myself, as their first competitions, and they're not used to open category and they sort of ask, what are the categories? Can I put my Age of Sigmar, Lizard, and my Space Marine in the same category? That's crazy. Um, but for us, an open style comps, you know, they're just figures, really. And it's the same with scales. So if you've got a Games Workshop small scale mini, You've got a 75 mil miniature, you've got a bust, they will all go together because what we're judging there is the painting uh, and we don't think they're different enough to to do that. So uh, yeah, we'll just judge how well your painting uh, is no matter the scale and the size and things like that. Yeah, uh, nice. But we, we do we do have the other categories where we think that it's different enough, um, that they deserve their own category with the vehicles and things like that. But I think, yeah, if you're painting a single mini uh, a bust, a large scale figure, even a unit, um, then we we want that in the painting category. And yeah. uh, I've got more got more to say about that, but I think when we talk about how we're doing the judging, I'll, I'll say more on that. Okay, cool. Well, want. so so just to run super quick, then the characters you've got painting, you've got dire arms and storytelling, and you've got vehicles, mechs, and military stuff, um, which hopes is pretty self explanatory. But get if we're going to talk about that a little bit during the judging, then we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll circle back around to that one. Um, Ave went to us in the chat, said so you're going to have to rush anyways to catch the flight back home. Yeah, again, that was another reason we, we've we tried to move the awards nice and early on the Sunday um, so that people that do need to travel can get away in good time. And another reason, again, we chose Bristol was we've got the airport there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think our furthest attendee is coming from Brisbane. Um, and then I think we've got a fair few local Bristol lads and lasses coming down as well. So it's... Uh, it's decent mix. Um, um, yeah. One thing, to, one thing to note just about the categories as well is uh, this is what we hope will be the smallest year, and the yeah. aim is to expand it. And the categories we will adjust with that as well. But we've got a limited amount of attendees, and we didn't want a lot of categories, um, so there wasn't weak ones or something like that. So uh, yeah. that's not fixed forever. We'll learn as as we expand the show and uh, see how it goes. But for for this one, that's the categories we're going for. Yeah, I think that's important too. What you say, like this is this is our show. We we've wanted to do it for a long time. We want to do it our way, not from an arrogant. We think our way is better, but we also don't want to get stuck in the this is how a show goes. So you just do it like this. So we feel like this is the best starting point for us to put on the show that we want. Um, so, uh, and yeah, and who knows, who knows how it'll change uh, down the years. Um, right. And then finally, can I enter both standard and master? Uh, no, pick a lane. So if you're going to enter standard, then that's what you enter for painting, for diorams and storytelling and for vehicles mech uh, or do master, so on and so forth. Uh, the entry form doesn't allow it. You yeah. One so, yeah. or the other. <laughs> it matters because we did, when we did the online competition, we did originally allow it and then i think we said we'd rather people didn't which all got a bit messy so now matt's made it so that you can't but it's worth saying i don't think i've written down entry form the entry form is live we made a post about it recently please 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 use it to submit your entries it closes about five o'clock or something doesn't it yeah the, on the, the friday the, 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 on the friday um we don't worry we're not expecting everyone to have their stuff ready by now but get it up there as soon as you can you can edit it right up until then as well um you're not locked in uh, until mm -hmm. that till that five o'clock uh, mark but it will make registration on the saturday morning so much easier and smoother for you and means you can get those models out on display 
get a coffee and relax, yeah. which is the, uh, the it's goal. very much all singing and all dancing now. So it works. Little that's some right. errors every now and then, but like that's just the way the internet works. You're right. <laughs> You're all right. Um, so those are the main uh, questions that we've had uh, multiple times, which is why I've put them uh, on there. Do the judges prejudge based on the photos? No, nothing at all. Um, in the T's and C's, I think it is, Matt, on the entry form, um, look at the, the images that you submit will not be used at all on the day or on the weekend for it. Um, but we intend to have a nice big online gallery of everything that everyone's entered, and those images will be used. Yeah. Uh, on that so okay. if you've used a whip image before like um the day of the closing if you finish a piece just get some nice images uploaded i mean if you're not ready yet we can add them later but yeah, yeah. they'll be used in an online gallery so everyone can yeah. see what was there yeah um effectively you create an account now don't you with the miniature painting open yeah um so yeah um and don't worry we're not smart enough to figure out how to send you random stuff so there's no yeah. risk of that either um, Only I have access to it. I'm the master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a miracle we managed to record every two weeks. Right. So what's um, the next one? So that's the facts. I think we're going to talk about judging next, won't we? Yes. Sounds good. Lovely. So um, why have we chosen these judges? These judges being Andy Wardle, uh, Richard Gray, and Albert Moretto Font. Um, I had a little uh, chat about this on the last episode. Uh, at the end of the Golden Demon review that we did. Um, but essentially, we've chosen these guys with Andy as the head judge uh, because we think that they are three of the best, strongest, currently competing uh, painters uh, in the world and have been for several years, if not longer. Um, so we think they are massively qualified from that point of view to understand levels of painting and what painting competitions are like. Um, but also, they're all experienced in judging painting competitions. Um, so we just wanted to make sure that we're not just getting names, we're not just getting randomers. What we're getting is people that we think are the very best suited to respect and understand the work that you're going to bring with you um, and give it the time and, I say, the love and all the rest of it that it deserves that you put into it and judge it fairly. Um, so you may not agree with the result, um, but you can be uh, at least assured that it, everything was given to you consideration on it um and we wanted to get andy on to chat a little bit about this one uh, about what the judges are looking for because when we first put up the posts that it was andy rich and albert doing it uh, there were a few comments of like oh holy shit i'm not going to manage to get anything here this oh how the hell am i going to live up to these standards and all that <clears throat> no one's expecting you to live up to anyone's standards in that sense um these guys understand the the journey that a painter goes through and where they will be at the various stages uh, along that journey regardless of style uh, which i think is important as well so andy do you want to have a little chat about what the judges are going to be looking for yeah and i just want to um uh start with i read a few comments online nothing too bad but i wanted to assure people um that we won't be looking for people to paint like us and that style open to everything and i also saw some people were worried that it might be very technically focused um and i think you might be surprised at how much us the three of us will prioritize that uh certainly i speak to those guys regularly and actually we're looking for other things um and we won't be using a system where there's like metrics and we won't be scoring seven out of ten for this eight out of ten for this but there are there are different things that we're looking for. Um, so I'll just go through a few of those really. Um, so creativity being the, the first one. Uh, and this is going to be more emphasis, obviously, in the diorama creativity category. Uh, but in all of them, we're going to be looking for that. Any originality, ideas, just, you know, exciting things that get us going. A bit like Alex's uh, vampire mirror any any cool unique ideas uh, that's going to be a really big thing uh, that we're looking for and, and that will excite us um, we're also going to be looking we are going to be looking at the technical side of things but technical can mean different things for different people um, and I think actually it's more about the execution of that style so if you're choosing to use things like brush strokes to add to your piece um, you know, we're looking how well have you done that. So we're not looking for, we're not going to be fault finding. Sometimes pieces will have, you know, maybe obvious errors that will bring it down, but we're not going to be looking underneath trying to find 
an edge highlight slightly off. That's that's not really the way we want to judge this. Um, but certainly we're going to, you know, understand the style that you're going for, hopefully pretty much straight away and trying to judge it based on how well you've executed that style. Um, and then there's lots of other things I think uh, we could go into for quite a long time. <laughs> Um, but... Yeah, I mean, if you want to get an idea of that, right, people can go back and watch the uh, the wrap up we did with you, Will uh, and Dave when we did the MPO online, because that was some some fab chat. And again, you you spoke then a lot about having that understanding, not not fault finding, not looking for errors to judge people over others and stuff. And and I hope I hope people that have watched us for a, a while um, probably do understand that, as I imagine that's why they bought the tickets because they know we are and, and they like what we do. Um, so yeah, if you have watched stuff, hopefully you, you, you do understand that. And perhaps, um, a few of those comments that were concerned about it, uh, may not be, uh, may not be as aware of that uh, as they are, but yeah, go, but go back and watch the episodes we've done on, on things like, um, Monty on our, our own competitions. Uh, someone's just asked in the chat, Andy, how will you approach the levels? Uh, is MPO master like Monty slash SMC master level, or is it slightly more lenient? Uh, so what I was going to go on to say is, um, you know, we'll also be looking at things like, you know, your use of light, how consistent is that across the piece, a few more things. And I think across the levels in master, we're probably looking for you to do things in all of the different metrics. So we're looking for you to do something new, creative, cool, have interesting light, be technical, executing your style well, um, you know, quite a few be good across the board to get a, a gold in master um weathers will be more lenient in the other levels like standard and maybe if you've done something very creative but it's maybe not uh particularly well rendered or something like that then you've probably got a chance of getting a higher medal in those more lenient categories um but certainly yeah in the uh, master level we're looking for everything to be pretty good across the board i think uh, but yes, it will be. I don't know. What's the it's comparable to, to Monty? It? Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 you're going to be judging. <laughs> you, yeah. You've been at those competitions, you know. I, I think yeah. the same. I think it'll be the yeah. same. I it'll mean, be, I've, yeah. they're they're sort of my bread and butter, and um, me and Rich actually have been to uh, Monty since 2014, 2015. Uh, I've done it every single year, Monty, SMC, every single Golden Demon. I've done all these big shows, so I kind of, I've seen the level at these different styles of shows, and I'll be judging it based on the, that ten years of experience going to all these shows. So, uh, and the same, same with Albert and Rich. We we all do these shows so often, and we do know what the level is. Um, we've seen a lot of best of shows and all these different things. So. Um, yeah, just going to really use that experience of all these competitions we've done. So, Andy, there's mm -hmm. a good question in the chat, mate. It's will you move pieces between categories if you deem them higher than the category? I they're think in? probably so, yeah, lower. Hi, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I, I, I won't. I probably probably won't move them lower. So if they're in master, I won't move them to standard. But hmm. if if something's in standard and I think it'll win in master, then I would do that. But I wouldn't move something from standard to master to get nothing. So I would only I would only move something if they were going to get an award. Um, but most likely I won't, because if the the thing about the tier system is it really gauges where you're at. And I remember when uh, Jamie came to Monty the first time and he was worried about what the level was going to be and wasn't sure where he was at, because it is hard to know where you're at. And I said just do standard. Uh, and he entered standard and got a gold, uh, but then he didn't do standard again. So that's the really nice thing about the tier system. Uh, and then he moved to masters the next time, and I think he got a bronze. So now he's trying to work his way up through silver, gold in the master. And that's, you know, it's not like that for everyone, but uh, that's just one positive of doing uh, the levels like that. But to answer the question, uh, yeah, I, I think it will be a similar standard to... Um, Monty and SMC, and I will be judging SMC this year as well, which is cool. Yeah, nice one. Um, I think in the sort of several thousand entries we had at, for the online comp, there was a handful, like literally, that got moved. It wasn't that less than five or so? I think that got got shifted up from yeah. standard to master. So yeah, it's not 
not that common uh, with that. Um, just one thing uh, I meant to mention earlier, I've had a couple of people ask um, about, will there be like a general display area? Uh, no. So if you want to bring some minis to show off, enter them in. Um, there will be a display area for pieces by the judges uh, and the cult sort of team family. Uh, so there'll be more, even more cool minis to look at. Um, but for this competition, uh, for this year rather, uh, there won't just be a generic display area. Um, so all these things we take into consideration uh, and when we have more space and all the rest of it, then we will, we will always look at them uh, again. Um, there we go. Albert will also be judging SMC this year as well. So probably safe to say that the judging levels between MPO and SMC will be very similar. Um, <laughs> seeing as you've got two of the judges uh, doing them. Uh, right. Anything else you wanted to chat about with what the judges are looking for, Andy? Well, uh, just while we're on the levels, a very common question I get asked or a um, what's the word when people was a, co a common mistake can't think of the word brain's gone um but when it comes to the level it's your choice and a lot of people think mm. that yeah. if you've won <clears throat> if you've won an award you have to enter master but it's completely irrelevant uh, and rich rich knows this himself because he's won a lot of golden demons and you know something like monty you know what what master's like and if just because you've got a golden demon at some point in your life doesn't necessarily mean you want to go for master it's fine so yeah. um it's, don't it's feel different, pressured it's a different ball game if if you're um i would we always took the opinion if you've never entered this sort of style competition before in that open format i would always enter uh you know somewhere in the middle because even because i've won golden demons before but if i enter monte i would always enter into standard because it's right in the middle of the ballpark and if you like andy said if you get a gold straight away you know you can you can go up but if you get nothing you know maybe you need to move down and if you get sort of a silver or something then you kind of know that you're exactly where you need to be um and it is it is completely different to golden demon so don't think of it like a golden demon because it's not it's a completely different kettle of fish and you know standard will be something worth winning it'll be it'll be mm. awesome um but just don't feel any pressure at all that you have to do a level just it depends where you want to be at you might feel like hey i want to be judged against the best guys i'm probably going to get no award or i might manage to get a bronze but i'd rather go for it and be amongst those guys or you might feel like yeah i really want to know where i'm at let's go for standard see what medal i go for so just don't feel that anything you've done in the past dictates that and the same with the other way around don't feel like you have to have won an award in another show to enter master um mm. people can i've seen people that have been painting for three years they're amazing and they might have never done a competition before and they could go straight into master at the same time you might have been painting for 30 years and you've never feel like uh you know you've really pushed yourself or you don't want to do that go for standard whatever you want so just yeah you can ask us ask you know say what do you think i should do but i would just go for what feels right ask your friends opinions and things like that but no pressure nice one um adam yes there will there'll be a display area for pieces from the judges and say put other pieces from the cult the rest of the cult team uh, as well uh yeah jim we saw it that david's just asking um if you're bringing a single mini do you recommend a plinth or can it just be on its normal base uh, it can be on its normal base that's absolutely fine um, but plinths are really useful <laughs> as well as looking cool. Uh, I think it's probably the easiest Easy to handle. handle. Yeah. Honestly, don't put it on a gaming base because it's so hard to pick up and it doesn't <laughs> look, it just doesn't look good. It's just, there's no point in doing it, but you can easily blue tack a gaming base to a plinth yeah. for the competition. And we've all done that loads and loads of times, but from a, just a judging point of view it's much easier for us to handle the miniature mm. and it also looks better and if i see something just on a gaming base i'm going to be shaking my head and already have a, neg a negative thought <laughs> so <laughs> put it on yeah, and the chances are if you got andy asking andy to pick it up then you probably uh you're probably not getting that model back it's probably <laughs> gonna get exposed um so yeah uh albert said thanks very much Albert, answering those uh questions uh in the chat uh, as well yeah maybe we'll just have a box of like 
like when you forget your swimming trunks for uh, for school, we'll just have like the, the lost lost property <laughs> bag of scrap plinths. If you forget to bring yeah. a, you can just blue tack them on. Uh, chances I've got are some it'll of them just in be the post today. Yeah, just be a few few off cuts of wood and a, a bunch of rattle can lids. Um, but yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, Alex has asked, "How is the lighting going to be at the cabinets?" Uh, well, no cabinets. not going to be cabinets. No cabinets. Um, the light in the venue itself is fantastic. Um, uh, the natural light, but we will also be lighting uh, all of the display plinths. Um, we are custom building all of the display units for this, uh, which is going to be exciting. Um, Got my sword but, ready. Uh, yeah, but we, uh, but yeah, we, we are confident this is going to look great. Um, but you know, if if you don't get the award you want, to feel free to slag us off because the lighting was shit. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> Um, we don't mind that one at all. Um, do we reckon there's much likelihood of many more cancellations? Um, yeah, I reckon, Will. I reckon so. Um, as I say, soon as soon as the cancellations come in, I, I get on the list. Um, so, yeah, have, have stuff ready. Um, Just uh, a re note re on that re as re well. That I know there's a lot of people sad that they missed out a ticket, but we we didn't want to bite off more and we can chew on the first one and it will be much bigger next year um so yeah even though a lot of people have missed out i think just think about next year when the tickets go up for next year get them straight away <laughs> and you'll yeah, be this, fine for this, next time this year is very much about ironing out any issues that might arise you know we can screw up on a small scale which instead of a really large <laughs> scale which is always well, the best way to do it. Way of looking at it i think i think the positive way look is is we we're just looking at focusing on the competition and it being in a great place to hang out. Mm. Those are our goals for this one. There will be a tiny little vendor area, tiny, just a couple of friends of ours and our own merch stand. Um, and then next year's there will be a, a dedicated vendor sort of area and things like that. Something we want to want to grow as well. Um, but yeah, this year really is focusing about the comp. And if we feel confident it runs the way we expect it to, then that is eminently scalable. Mm -hmm. um so we're yeah we're, we're, we're confident um with that one um an hourly schedule um there so again on on the website which we do need to update because we have brought things forward as we mentioned earlier brought it forward oh in fact is timings next matt yes they are uh, andy is that everything you wanted to talk about for judging mate uh i will do a proper criteria thing for people so they know what they're looking for which um you know, Albert and Rich don't need a criteria to go off. They're they're brilliant, but we'll just kind of have have one. But we're yeah. So we'll just outline things to, to work on and stuff like that. So uh, Okay. Think, well and we'll add that it. onto the onto the website. Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay, great, yeah. cool. We'll do a social post when we, we pop that up as well. Um, essentially it's just paint better, right? Mm. It it's <laughs> do something good in whatever way you want but we the, i think the key thing is that uh we like different styles so do not worry about us only awarding stuff that looks like our own minis <laughs> yeah. and super clean uh two more questions on this one what is the capacity for this year out of curiosity uh, just over 200 entrants we're allowing this year um plus a bunch of uh staff we want to make sure we've got plenty of staff and volunteers to to make everything run smoothly as well charlie so yeah just over 200 uh, for that one um are the categories judged by all the models entered or is there if there's one that's worthy would it get the medal ping coin etc it's a coin slash medal however you want to think of it yeah uh, that's a good one i was going to say actually but i forgot <clears throat> so what we what we'll do is we'll look at your collection and the medal you get will be based on the best miniature in your collection so if you've got a bunch of stuff that's a silver level but there's one brilliant piece uh, that we think's a gold, then you will get a gold medal. There's a slight distinction where if everything's the same standard and it's really, really awesome, then you'll get the medal and then it will say display. And that means everything is that. And when I've done other competitions, I've got that. Sometimes I've got a, uh, a silver or a gold, and then sometimes I've got a gold display, which means everything's the same level. And it's it's not much, but it's just a slight level up. Um, but yeah, so don't worry about something you're like well this model's not too good it's got a mistake on it or something if it's cool just bring it along yeah uh, and that's one of the biggest the biggest pluses about this style of comp and i think it's one of the one of the biggest reasons we like them from a fan point of view is you get to see more cool minis 
um you know so so yeah bring bring your bring good stuff cult paints uh yes david hopefully we will have some of our upcoming paints uh for people to have a play with which would be really cool um am i being craig all right cool i, th- I guess we wanted questions right <laughs> am i being silly yeah, bring only on bringing, the questions. am good. i being silly br- only bringing one mini I've only been painting for a couple of years. I've never competed before. I've got lots painted, but don't know if they're good enough to compete alongside that mini you've done for the comp. No, one mini is fine. And I, the more I paint and do competitions, the more I like just bringing one project. Um, and I've I've seen it many times. In, in fact, you know, Albert is the sort of person he'll go to these massive shows and he will bring one project and win best of show or something like that. So no matter the volume of your pieces, we're going to look at them all. So if someone's got a big collection, that's cool. We can show that off and we'll find the best mini in that collection. If you've got one, there's no way we're going to miss it. We're going to look at everything. And yeah, we'll look at that one miniature. But I've seen people um, with one teeny 32 mil mini in a, and then there's, you know, 400 minis in that category and it doesn't get missed and it gets a big award. I've seen that a few times, which is cool. Worth saying that don't don't just bring fucking everything. Um, this isn't like a show and tell thing. Um, bring, bring your bring very things you're best proud of things. Yeah, mm. there's a, there's a balance. There's a balance. <laughs> like I love you to bits if you've painted the whole Imperial Fists Space Marine chapter. Oh, don't and bring that. I hope that we will get to a place where we have enough space to have areas like that to display things as well. But that is not this year. Um, yeah just bring uh bring some of your coolest things um right should we move on to timings and then wrap it up yeah have we got any more questions um so uh yeah there's been a slight tweak to the timings uh, on the website although that may well be updated um uh, i need to change it on the website um, yeah, yeah. by the time this is done um but yeah uh starts saturday morning 10 till 5 then we'll boot you out um the the judges will be judging basically the whole day uh, and after you leave uh, that is their only job um the with regards to stuff to do uh, you've obviously got the competition itself the venue uh, itself has lots of lovely areas just to go grab a coffee you can bring your coffees and whatever and just chill out meet people uh, someone mentioned earlier in the chat how they'd love to get to this sort of thing just to meet painters um and again as andy mentioned that is a as much a priority of ours for this as the competition that's what is it's for right? isn't we, it? we want for. yeah this is this is our games day type thing right this is our big i don't know what do they call them gts um for, for game this is to get together with like-minded people and just be able to chat about it and look at great stuff um so registration will close at, at two um so 10 till two you've got the time to get your entries in again all this information is on the website please 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 read the terms and conditions um there's a plain language paragraph at the very end which sums it all up so you don't need to read all, read all the nonsense above it um you can just read the bit but there is some some pertinent information in it um that's it. When doors close at five, uh, you you are about ten, maybe fifteen minutes walk, flat walk at most, to a lovely sort of harbour area of Bristol, which has tons of restaurants, cafes, bars, pubs, all the rest of it. Um, nearer the time, we'll be posting up a few different places um, that you can go and check out if you enjoy it, and we'll be posting up where we will be heading uh, after we've finished tidying up and closing the show down and everything uh, where we'll be heading on the saturday evening uh, to hang out and hopefully plenty of you can join us there uh, if you're around then nice and early sunday we open up at nine uh, hopefully all the judging's done um if it's not there might be a tiny bit more judging um and again it's a chance to grab a coffee see what's what our intentions are you will know if you have been awarded anything by that point you won't know what but you will know if you have been awarded something um and then a nice early awards ceremony at 11, which we anticipate to run for no longer than an hour, um, but obviously we hope way less. Um, and uh, then a nice few hours after that to collect your miniatures, to chat with people, to, you know, again, just relax, enjoy the day, not feel rushed out, get to the merch stand, buy some <laughs> merch, <laughs> support us. <laughs> to try and make back the fuck time we spent uh, on this um and uh, yeah that's essentially it isn't it i don't think i'm missing anything am i on that uh no i think yeah i guess the idea with the timings is 
uh, yeah, that uh, you don't have to wait too long for the awards. There's time to do things after. I've seen a question saying, can we ask the judges for feedback after the show? Uh, and yes, within reason. So obviously, after we've done the the uh, after we've done the awards and things like that, that yeah, we'll try and give some feedback. Uh, maybe it would have to be brief, just because the amount of people. But we would also like to just kind of be amongst everyone and socialize uh, after. So yeah, absolutely yeah. O- open to feedback. But uh, we'll just have to see how that goes and how crazy it is. But uh, yeah, and and with that feedback thing again, this is why we want to try and promote this idea of you may not be able to get direct feedback from the judges on why a piece did not win whatever you expected it to win, but you're going to have a hundred and or 200 and something other painters to talk to about those miniatures as well. And most people love chatting about paint jobs. Um, so, you know, don't, don't feel afraid to, uh, I hope just people just make a load of, load of new, new friends on this one, really, that, that the paint nerds, we spend so much time in this, tiny little box right painting you know hopefully you're going to meet lots of uh lots of other like-minded people as well um sarah yes there will be uh our intention is to have a sticker method to know if you won something yeah um so that's the intention there's a, a question a bit further up is there going to be a go-to place after the doors close uh yes there is again we'll announce that a little bit uh, nearer the time but with the doors closing at five we won't be out the venue for a few hours after that um but as i said 10 15 minutes flat walk uh, to tons of restaurants, cafes, or all, all that sort of thing, uh, and then we will head to a bar uh, afterwards, and we'll let people know nearer the time uh, in advance of the comp uh, where where that will be. And I um, guess um, the you know the the dream in the future is to have a big venue where yeah. we can maybe have a bar that we we're renting out, uh, and that everyone can go and things like that. Um, it's difficult. Got big plans. In the early- Big, yeah, it's big difficult visions, in right? the early stages. But we're not going to. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we're but here. Wanna, You'll yeah. get to there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah. And we think we think Bristol is not just a good compromise, but it's potentially a, a really lovely way of doing it, regardless. Um, it's what so we again, want, another, isn't it? Another reason why we why we wanted this. Yeah, and it's why it took us a while, you know, to put this on. Um, wanted yeah. to do it. Wanted to do it right. Okay, so no other questions coming in. I think we're good. Yeah, Merchant Paints. Can't wait to announce uh, the prize stuff. So we've got uh yeah so we're doing uh medals uh how much merch do we need to buy from you to break even uh all of it please bruce <laughs> all of the merch uh, 500 um, 500 t-shirts <laughs> um do your big plans involve bruce again yeah to be to be honest with you will right now our intentions would be to all, more or less always have a bristol show um and always have the online show each year and then look but we don't want to you know, pigeonhole ourselves, and, and, and you know that that we may change our mind. Something better may come up, uh, but let's but do let's do Bristol first Bristol. time, and let's see. Yeah, <laughs> let's expand see, uh, in Bristol. Though, yeah, certainly next, next year's will be Bristol as well. Um, Kane, yes, best of show. So again, on the website, um, it's got the awards. So there's gold, silver, and bronze. There's also commended, um, and there are two best ofs. There are best of creative, and there is best of show. Um, and we got some rather special prizes for uh, best of show, which were really really excited about um yeah and merch wise yeah the the usual sort of stuff yeah big boy t-shirts don't worry we're not gonna make that mistake again i've still got far too many size s colton paint t-shirts in my hey, attic up him. um yeah matt can only get through so many <laughs> um so, <laughs> so yeah um, but yeah we'll do that um our intention is to have some fun merch so hopefully people can enjoy it and uh if we want want to wear it, you know, want to want to enjoy, it. you know, we're 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 big festival goers and all the rest of it, bands, you know, gig goers and stuff. We 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 want to try and bring that vibe um, to this uh, as well. There was um, just one question uh, yep. a lot earlier, like asking if we were going to live stream the awards. No, uh, too much to to figure out in the first one. Because Matt's the only one who can do it, and he's going to be busy doing the awards. Yeah, so yeah. We've, we've only got one Matt basically. <laughs> We can't do any live. Um, Feel free to you know put your cameras on Instagram Live, all that jazz. Yeah, we won't stop you. You no. go for it. You no, but again, trouble. please check your terms and conditions uh, with regards to that. Um, yeah. Uh, can we enter something we're already in sales? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, course I want can. a black metal logo too. I'm, I'm working on that. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a couple of a couple of vendors are friends of ours. We have said on the website that a friend of ours was going to be doing a seminar. At the moment, unfortunately, it looks like they are going to have to cancel for that. But we're trying to find a replacement. Uh, if we can't, then not to worry. We'll 
sort something fun out anyway. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's all of it. Um, yeah. Anything you guys want to add? No, but just come, yeah, come for the don't, vibes. Don't yeah. be don't be don't be afraid of the judging. Just bring some cool minis. Get a chance to chat to people. Mm. And yeah, the the plan is year on year to improve, add, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to mm -hmm. be great. But we'll get the first but, one done, and then add best, stuff best. later. Best part of going to a miniature show is literally sitting around talking to people that you potentially new mates about the hobby that we all spend time doing together. Um, so come and do that bit and don't worry about the miniatures or the show. Just mm. come and enjoy yourselves. Yeah, and also, if you see you. us, come and say hi. <laughs> we do get a few people when we go to like Golden Demon and stuff that don't, they feel a bit unsure about coming over and saying hi to us and stuff. So just, yeah, come grab people and say hey and chat to us and things like that. It's all good fun. Absolutely. Um, and just so you know, with it all out, the reason we're doing this is to because we we want to have the show that we dream of and we're going to try and create it ourselves our our number one priority is that you enjoy yourself over the weekend it's have a good time for making profit, it's not for, for sure. making fucking money yeah so don't worry we're not that's not our goal uh with with this um so yeah it's it's we we, we want we really want you to enjoy yourselves so please talk to you know talk to us let us know if there's things you need uh, ideally in advance um and all that sort of thing um but yeah it's going to be awesome um i can't wait well i can but i can't wait so was it six weeks <laughs> not long not long now stuff's starting to roll in now so uh yeah it's ordered um, gonna need big, it soon before my delivery uh, gets full, arriving yeah. tomorrow <laughs> so that's gonna be fun to haul in <laughs> um and talking with the person creating one of the prizes uh today as well so um yeah should be really really cool right thanks guys um if there aren't any we more go, questions we're get good you, get your entries in if you break it let me know job done <laughs> <laughs> is there room to dump our carry cases under the table that is an excellent question jim mm. uh, no not underneath the display thing um but it is a relatively large space um but that's that's a really good point no we're, we're not providing storage there so if you choose to leave something somewhere that's that's on your own and the risks inherent within that we we can't at this venue basically um, because no. a lot a lot a lot of shows like smc do allow that mm. but they are much bigger venues mm, yeah. and it, it's it's a thing that we know it is useful needs to happen but in this first show we can't do that yet so uh, I'm afraid you have to look after your case. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's just see. Let me make a phone call. But yeah, I suspect suspect you're going to be able to. Uh, how big is the gap between gold in standard and bronze in masters? Oof. Jim, um, that's a big question just to drop on us when we're about to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that question. All right. um, it's not massive, but you know, like like I said, in in standard, we're looking for you to hit something really, really well, like really creative, really use of uh, technical painting, amazing, amazing understanding of light, like a really doing one of those things really, really well. In master, we're looking for you to hit multiple of those things and to get a gold in master, do all of those things really well. Um, so yeah, I guess that's that's the difference. So. Um, if you're make something really beautiful, really creative, but you don't think it's smooth, you're probably going to win anyway. We're, we're not <laughs> as we're not as worried as you think about smoothness. All right, I promise you that. Yeah, let's come up with some kind of catchy, catchy phrase to. I want to see that, cool kind of stuff. It's it's cool. <laughs> Is it cool? <laughs> but yeah, Is go and beautiful? check out the website. It's got all the details, everything we've just spoken about, and more. Um, and hopefully you should answer all your questions. If it's a big question, one you think we really have missed the ball on, or dropped the ball on rather, missing out, just get in touch, please. It's easy to get hold of us. Instagram, Facebook, emails, Discord, YouTube, Patreon. You could even ping Ben at the commission studio. I don't care. Um, the questions will get the questions will get back to us, uh, and we will reply. we will endeavour to yeah we'll endeavour to answer. But the commission's team are going to be there, which is really cool as well, uh, helping out. So. Uh, again, if you've got any ideas uh, you want to talk to them about, um, they are on a bit of a roll uh, at the moment, uh, particularly crude if you talk to Harry. But uh, yeah, looking good. Cool. Right. Well, thanks, chaps. You're awesome. Um, can't wait to do this. We'll be running uh, 
recording episodes as, as normal uh, up until the show. Uh, we just thought it was a good time to do this sort of six weeks out. Uh, but we'll be back very soon talking more paint-related nonsense and taking a look at what everyone's been up to. So, until next time, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.